Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Welcome. This week we're talking about hope. Now yesterday I said that um, one of the best ways to overcome discouragement and despair and anxiety and stuff was to know of a place where you're welcomed, where you're welcome in, okay? And today I want to real quickly just read from Psalm 91 just a little bit here. We, we covered this a couple weeks ago a little bit more in depth. But it says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Now, you see there, you need to dwell, you need to find that place of safety that will help overcome despair and discouragement. Remember also in Hebrews, it says that God, uh, God tells us that we to come boldly before his throne. That tells us that God wants us there. God wants us in his presence. It's a place where we are welcomed. Amen. Amen. It's a place that we can have confidence for safety and protection. Amen. Okay, today I want to talk to you about the meaning of a name. And again, this is a, a way to overcome discouragement and despair and operate in the kind of hope that we're talking about here. According to a New York Times article, children in many African countries are named after famous people or, or uh, special events or circumstances uh, that was meaningful to the parents. Uh, when doctors told uh, some parents that they, um, uh, there was no cure for their, their, their infant's illness and only God knew if he would live, the parents named their child God knows. Another man said he was named enough because his mother had 13 children and they named him enough. In other words, enough is enough. Amen. Um, so, so it was also with Jesus before Jesus was born an angel of the Lord, uh, told Joseph, Mary will have a son and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sin. That comes from Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. Uh, Jesus is the Greek form of Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Okay? There's meaning in, the na in a name. Uh, in that day and culture, many uh, children would have been named Jesus, but only one came into his, uh, in the world to die so that all who receive him might live eternally forgiven and freed from the power of sin. Amen and amen. Charles Wesley wrote these words we often sing as a Christmas, uh, as Christmas comes, like right this time of year. And, and the words are, Come, thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins, release us, let us find our rest in thee. Amen. So again, there's powerful um, meaning in in the name in, in different names, but especially the name of Jesus. If you're going through a time of despair, a, a, a time of discouragement, I can tell you right now, look to the name Jesus or Joshua, which means Jesus saves. That's what he did, friend. He came to save you and I. His love for you and I are, is so strong that he was even willing to die so that you and I can live. Now, I don't know how much more you need to overcome that, that uh, uh, discouragement and despair, but I can just tell you that if you feel like you're not loved, I'm telling you right now that you are loved by your creator. You are loved by God and you are loved by his son, Jesus Christ. And if you'll just turn towards him, start looking to him and understand the power of his name, you can be freed from that discouragement and despair. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 through 25, I'd like to read it for you right now. It says, this is how Jesus, the Messiah, was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. There was something special about Jesus Christ. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he did, decided to break the engagement um, uh, quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph 
Son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you will name him Jesus. Remember, he saves. Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this will occur to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Now, if you're going through despair and discouragement, you know what you need? God with you. You need to know that you always have a God that's on your side. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Finally, it goes on to say, when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relation with her until her son was born, and Joseph named him Jesus. He saves his people. Hey, don't be discouraged. Know that there's a God that loves you so much and sent his son so that you can live and have a wonderful life. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.